and welcome back to Vancouver for day two of the Pwn to Own Security Competition. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Gora with HP Security Research. It has been a day full of fireworks downstairs. Let's go take a look. Starting early second day, Pwn to Own 2015 Ichula going against Mozilla Firefox. Ichula started us off by taking down Mozilla Firefox with an out of bands rewrite vulnerability leading to medium integrity code execution. It happened so quickly, a few of us blinked and missed it. Ichula also attempted to exploit Google Chrome, but ran out of time before he could get his code working. He told us he was having some issues with his info leak. And while not a winner on this round, he has won twice before and showed us some lovely research on the topic. I'm sure we'll see him again in the future. Zhang Hoon started his day by taking out 64-bit IE11 with the talk to vulnerability allowing for read-write privileges. He was able to evade all the defensive mechanisms by using a sandbox escape through a privileged JavaScript injection, all of which resulted in medium integrity code execution. Next, Zhang Hoon demonstrated an exploit that affected both the stable and beta versions of Google Chrome. He leveraged a buffer overflow race condition in Chrome and then used an info leak and race condition in two Windows kernel vulnerabilities to get system access. With all of this, he managed to get the single biggest payout of the competition this year, and it's the single biggest payout for a single round in Pwn to Own history. Of course, Zhang Hoon wasn't done yet. For his final act, he took out Apple Safari using a use after free vulnerability in an uninitialized stack pointer in the browser and bypassed the sandbox for code execution. I caught up with Zhang Hoon after he disclosed the vulnerabilities to the vendor. First of all, congratulations on such a tremendous job you did today. So you had the biggest payout for a single bug in Pwn to Own history. How are you feeling? So you can finally move out to a ni nicer place in Korea, um, where he lives. So. Uh, how long did it take you to write the exploits for each of these? The, the hardest one was the Chrome exploit. Um, it was over 2,000 lines of code he wrote. And um, it was first time that he wrote any like native client code, and then also kernel exploit that were used. And it was his first time doing the kernel exploitation on Windows. Well, thanks again, and back to you, Joe. Thank you, Dustin. You know, Pwn to Own 2015 is a wrap, but the story continues with HP Security Research and the Zero Day Initiative all year long. We encourage you to regularly visit our blog at hp.com slash go slash HPSR blog. For HP Security Research in Vancouver, I'm Joe Gora. Thank you for joining us.